Hi, so I'm creating this video based on a request for showing step by step how to download WGET utility and get it working in Git Bash, including the debugging steps. So the first step is to open Git Bash and then type WGET to see that we do not have the command. Now we are getting command not found here. So the next step is to download the wget utility. So we will Google wget utility binary. And here at eternallyboard.org, you will find the binary. In the GNU project, you will find the source code. So since we need the binary, so we'll go over here. Now, this is the latest version. So we will download this one, but there is an option of 32-bit or 64-bit. In order to check if your machine is 32 or 64, you can go to system information by typing so you press the Windows key and then type system information and then click on this icon. You can see over here, my system type is X64. You can do the same by a command line by either opening command prompt by searching or by opening command prompt using the shortcut window R by opening the run window and then typing CMD, whichever way you are comfortable. Next, we will go to this forum where there is a command to get the architecture. I'll paste this command in this link in the description so you can read it. And we paste it and it shows that my architecture is 64 bit. There's another command below here. You can try that as well. So if I copy paste this one, so you can see it's x64. So once you're sure about your architecture, then you will download the exe of that. In my case, because it said it is 64 bit, so I'm going to download this one. Now, once the download is complete, we will use the command prompt to go to the downloads folder or wherever you have downloaded the utility. Here, as you can see, I downloaded it in my downloads. And then we will try and use the utility by saying wget.exe. Let me clear screen. Say wget dot exe and then say www.google.com so you can see that wget is now working from the downloads folder but if i open git bash again you will see i will still get the error message it's because we still need to add this binary to the git bash path. By using wget in command prompt, we have made sure that it is working when called directly. So now the next step is to find where git bash is actually installed. So we will type git bash and then open file location. Then right click git bash, click on properties, and you can see in my case, it is installed in C program files git. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it here. So now I am in the directory where git is installed. So here we'll go to ming w64 bin, and then we will open another window because we want to access downloads. So open new window. 
and then we will copy and paste wget here so if it requires administrator permission please click on continue okay so you have the wget here so now if i open git bash window and say wget so you can see because we added it to the path now git bash is able to access the binary so let's try and open google so wget www.google.com so it will connect to google.com and download it uh, as a web page so index.html and you can see it's working so even if we say wget hyphen hyphen version It is saying it's 1.21.2 and that is the version that we downloaded. Hope this video helped. Thank you for watching.